Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. We have just finished week one of the night month um, that I've been talking about for the past couple of months uh, where it's a whole month dedicated to nights. Uh, you will have noticed throughout this whole week though I have sprinkled in some I say normal uh, videos such as the Plague War, First Lux and the Marathi and and depending on the next couple of weeks over the next three weeks that is also going to happen. I know that's doubled my workload um, but there's been a very positive uh, response to uh, the night content. Um, maybe I should have put a disclaimer out at the very start of these night videos that um, if I'm doing like an unboxing one day and then a review the next and then another unboxing, it does not mean that I have received that night that day or within those few days. Um, a lot of these models I've received last year, like a year ago. Some of the videos are a year old and um, I've just kind of banked them and uh, this whole month allows me to release them um, every day so I just want to you know make that point very clear if you are enjoying the content and you'd like to support the channel you can subscribe uh, you can join as a member and you can also click the element games affiliate link in the description below to save yourself 20% off your Warhammer goodness and support the channel at the same time. And there's uh, lots of great releases coming up over the next few weeks. So I hope you're able to uh, use the link um, before you make your orders. That being said, let's uh, go on over to the Warhammer community uh, website right here. Uh, there's been a fair amount of news um, this week. Um, you know, from last weekend, uh, from the uh, 29th really. Um, we looked at the Warhammer preview online. Um, I think I spoke a little bit about that in the live stream on the Saturday. I do live stream twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays from 7 till 10. And if you are a member of the channel, you're able to access every single live stream I've ever made um, from about September last year. Um, there's yeah a fair few videos now. Um, but yes, on the Saturday, uh, we had a little look at the um, pre-orders, which included this awesome looking Orc uh, novel, limited edition. It's only 2,000. To me, that seems like quite a lot uh, of limited editions, 2,000. Normally, they're only about 700 to 1,000 to 1,500. Um, but this is uh, basically the rise and rise of Gazgul um, Thracker, the... Uh, chief orc main character if you will of the 41st millennium um right now also um there's a couple of other books like go trek and felix and realm lords um and celestine and silent hunters uh you know those were available in in french as well also the pre-orders which i went through last weekend was the broken realms book um book four uh kragnos uh, and available in a uh, limited um, soft touch co cover version and the e-publication. Kragnos himself, um, Lord Croak, the two Slanesh models, the Warsong Revenant, Galen and Duralia then Densed. Um, there's been a bit of a delay, uh, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to receive them for another week or so. Um, the Melisai Iron Scale have been available for the first time and for... Uh, War Scroll Battalions in boxes. You've got the Beastmen, you've got the Dritchers, Spike Grove, um, you've got the Rachax Doom Coven, and you've got the Slash, Slash Demons uh, Vreska. Got some merchandise, so some t-shirts uh, with those units on, and Chapter Approve um, was up for pre-order as well. So a fair amount of uh, items to pre-order last weekend for Age of Sigmar. Now we're moving more into 40k um, but um, before I look at the other articles that Saturday evening was the Warhammer Age of Sigmar yeah 3.0 uh, if you will and this was the preview unboxing of Dominion I actually am interested in the Stormcast Eternals 
Um, these are the Thunderstrike Stormcast Eternals. Um, the trailer was all right. It wasn't in the same league as the uh, Warhammer 40k uh, Indomitus uh, trailer, in my opinion. But I'm very biased because I much prefer 40k. Um, but this is the box. You get an absolutely beautiful rule book, and um, yeah, I just think that they're nuts and crazy that they're not releasing that separately in that gorgeous artwork. Um, but this is what you get. You're getting the rule book. You're getting some war scrolls on cards. Uh, you're getting the start here at Amberstone Watch. You're getting 21 Stormcast Eternals and 31 Cruel Boys Orcs. So they are orcs. Um, and they're odd looking orcs. The legs are very short. Uh, I think I've said this in the live stream. They remind me of uruk -hai, but with different proportions. Um, from Lord of the Rings. I just can't get on with them, um, so I'm going to be skipping this set. Uh, I can expect some of these models to be available separately at some point. They're most likely going to do uh, Dark Imperium and Indomitus and uh, you know, just release some of these um, sprues uh, individually for quite a fair amount of money, you know, like 80, 90 pounds. Or they'll release um, some smaller like gaming box sets a bit like first strike and the command edition and, and things like that um but uh you're also getting yeah again 24 page book 14 war scroll cards two allegiance abilities cards these are the models so you've got uh, the celestial spear she looks pretty cool you've got the lord imperitant with griff hound you've got the knight arcanum and um, one of the coolest looking models in the set in my opinion You've got the Knight Vexilla with Banner Apotheosis. You've got the Praetors, which look nice. You've got the Annihilators, which are essentially Stormcast Terminators. They look good. Big hammers, big shields, big armor. What's not really to like? Uh, vindicators, I like the female Vindicators, they, they've done a very good job of showcasing uh, the female models without, you know, you could just tell that they're female, which is a, an absolute credit to the sculptors. Um, Cruel Boys Oryx, now this is where it, hmm, this is odd, this really is odd. To me that looks like a knee right there, and that is the length of the leg. So knee, a little bit of a hip. And then a massive body and a very, very small skinny arm. The purport, I mean, this warg, I mean, let's face it, it's a warg, um, looks fine. Uh, lots of details, scales, you know, a bit of armor. The, the, the beasts recently, they've done fantastic jobs. Um, but this orc, it's just, it's just, I can't get over it. Um, they, they started doing this with Soul Black Greyfords with the vampire. Uh, crossbreed high hybrid creature thing and now and now they're onto this um this model's all right though the uh swamp caller shaman and the uh, pot grot the kill boss again look at the little little legs but this dude's kind of in proportion sort of you've got the merc knob with a belcher banner such an Uruk high uh, kind of face, like flat, flat orc faces. Um, these, which are the Man Skewer Bolt Boys. The Gut Rippers. I mean, there's a lot of detail on these, don't get me wrong. And they're, obviously they're painted incredibly well. Then you've got the Hobgrots Slitters. Again, massive, massive torsos. And then the rule book, fantastic looking artwork on that. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and then pictures of, of more of the, the units. And these are some of the units that will be coming later on. I like the Judicator. Uh, the Stormstrike Chariot looks cool. And then you've got the Beast Skewer Killbow. And the Brecker. And the breaker boss on my brute trogoth trogoth looks cool i like that one 
Um, the teeth are a bit strange, but uh, and it's got a you know got armor. I'm just trying to think of ways to fit these into my Gloom Spike Gits army, and I don't think they'll work. It's a shame. And then you've got a, a novel as well, uh, Leap into the Ear of the Beast. Don't you think that this this one here looks a lot like uh, the one from uh, Avengers Endgame and uh, Infinity War? And there you go. That was, um, you know, 3.0. Not quite what I was expecting with a, with a completely new faction uh, there. Um, with some of the proportions, I, j I just can't wrap my head around. At the moment, it's a no from me. Um, but, uh, you know, I think people are on the fence. I think uh, a lot of people like the um, Stormcast, but um, people are umming and ahhing about the, the uh, Oryx. Uh, no doubt we'll see the Oryx sold, se sold separately on auction websites and things um, soon after release. Um, or maybe before it's even released, as these things kind of work. On the Sunday, there was the preview uh, for basically Adeptus uh, Sororitas, the first wave. I'm pleased that they did do it in a first wave. Uh, but uh, this is what they've got coming out. So you've got the new codex in both standard and collectors. It's been announced that the standard edition of the Adeptus Sororitas Codex will be £30. So it is official. We've had it since the Mechanicus Codex, the Space Marine, the Necrons, and the Death Guard. Codexes are £30. That is the new amount that codexes are. Um it's disappointing when Age of Sigmar battle tomes are £25 and they include so much more for your money. Um, I think I said it at the very start with the release of Space Marine and Necron Codex. Um, it might be worth you skipping Ninth edition. Um, this is what I said um, kind of June, July last year. It might be worth skipping it. Not, not only because of the uh, virus and things, but actually because they're just poor. Um, compared to, to 8th edition and um, you know when you factor in the, the, the virus realistically how many years are you going to be using these codecs for and how how much money are you and how much value are you going to get from them other than reading the law I mean there's certainly no paint guards or anything to help you through these times but anyway that's uh, that's probably another uh, matter um, you've now got the new High Lord of Terror Controversial, as it's the Sisters of Battle, um, in this golden war suit as well. Uh, just plucked her from nowhere, and um, not as bad as the baby carriers. I give them that, and not as, and uh, but it's another model that does raise uh, quite a few questions, and uh, they are the models that um, are harder on your eyes. Following her, you've got some Paragon War suits. Yeah, you get all this armor and things, and then you've just got no helmet. It's just it's bizarre. It really is bizarre. I get that they want to show character, and I get they, they want to show everybody that they're female in here, but still, it's just... I'm not a big fan of these war suits anyway. You know, it to me, it's it's like they've run out of creative juices. We've got powered armored uh, female, which looks really cool. Uh, and we give it awesome weaponry, but then we're going to put her in more armor. It's like, can't you think of, can't you think of anything else? I guess not. However, you've got the sacrosants, and they do look cool. They do look like a nice set. Very, very pricey though, for five. You do get a couple of weapon options and head options in here though, which is nice. The Dogmata is just boring. Um, the dice look nice, and you've got the cards. House of Faith, you've got um, the essential companion for the gangs of House of Cordor. Speaking of which, there they are. Um, they look cool models, I do like that one, with the flamer and then the uh, brazier uh, on the top. Well, this one's got brazier as well, but... Yeah, they are. I like the flame effects on there. Um, robes you've got the cards and then you've got some dice underworlds we're finally getting the crab that wasn't revealed too long ago to be fair um you've got this eel thing or sea snake you've got the um you've got this uh 
massive piranha fish type thing. This one, this this unit is looking quite cool, and this one is yeah what you'd expect. Forge world, wow. Um, after the uh, dry spell last week, we've got some new models for Aeronautica in the form of the Marauder Colossus Bomber, Pathfinder, and the Tau Aircast Remora Stealth Drone. Um, if you like Aeronautica, and if you just like, and if you just like to see Epic return, um, this is a way to support that. Uh, we do know that there is going to be a Plastic Thunderhawk at some point, so uh, I think many people are. are waiting for that and they'll probably buy that um as maybe their first ever aeronautica kit but that but it didn't stop there they're also releasing the uh, volkite weapons for the adeptus titanicus titans these are for the adeptus titanicus ones so you've got the warlord one which sold out very quickly you've got the reaver carapace and then you've got the warhound now i did say that i wouldn't purchase the reaver but i did and i've got the warhound as well it's important to note that this is on a two-week release schedule, so you won't get hold of these weapons for another two weeks. I think they're going to um, start shipping from the 18th of uh, June. Black Library, you've got two new novel. Black Library, you've got two versions of novels that had already come out. Again, always baffled why they don't release the paperback and hardback at the same time. I think it's to recoup their costs from the hardback initially by making them like a, you know, timed release kind of exclusive. Um, so if you really, really want the books, you, you're happy to pay, well, let's face it, more than double. Um, you've got Brutal Cunning by Mike Brooks and Blackstone Fortress Ascension by Darius Hinks. And then a little look at what's what's happening, um, or what was happening during uh, this week just gone. So just a brief summary of all of the other articles. You've got, um, here we go, Orcs, some of the toughest uh, creatures in the galaxy. And now we've got the stats to prove it, so they're now getting Toughness 5. Um, and the Snagger Boys um, are also getting Strength 5, um, but everything else remains the same. They, the Choppers have had a bit of a change. You can now get Ood Choppers, um, and um, Beast Snaggers are getting 6 plus and Vulnerables. Yeah, so we've gone from 6 plus T-shirt saves to 6 plus and Vulnerables. There we go. Making them a bit more survivable. You've got um, more Miracle Dice um, for the uh, new rules for Adeptus Sororitas. You've got the Rimmer Engine, which looks like some kind of bionic leg, ankle, foot thing. Um, it might be Caradron, but it might also be 40k. It's an odd one, that. You've got the uh, latest reinforcements. Um, love whacking things with giant maces and uh, gives you uh, a little look at what they can do so they've got the paragon war suits very strong you know not nice toughness five and um, these sisters that are in power armor that are in massive armor are as tough as as a it's a green mushroom pretty much um the save of two plus they've got three attacks you know four wounds weapon skill ballistic skill their, their movement is eight inches which is nice so yeah they're they're a bit buffed and uh, you're subtracting one damage against them so that helps with their, their toughness there the paragon war blade is quite decent the maces are fantastic because they're now strength nine um which is yeah incredible but you've got the sacrosancts as well and their melee is going up to strength uh, five but what i also like is the anointed halberds because then they're strength six ap minus three and a damage of one you got some rules for the Dogmata. And then a quick brief look at uh, all of the other articles. So you've got um, Elethane's uh, Soul Raid. Prepared to surge through Diachasm with the cards. Kragnos, tip the power of balance with mortal realms. Elevate Sister Battle to Living Saint with the Crusade rules. Um, go on Crusade with White Dwarf's own Tomb Keepers chapter in issue 465. This is June's issue. Looks amazing. I can't wait to... Get my hands on this. Probably comes out for me in a, in a week or so. You're getting a free transfer sheet. I mean, crikey, guys. Sometimes these transfer sheets are over £10 each. Um, I'd like to see more of this. Even though I don't use mint transfer sheets myself, that would be cool. There's also, it looks like, you get a poster for Dark Tide. Unfortunately, it's for like a, unfortunately, it's for like a renegade uh, guard, but still. 
Um, this looks good. And Golden Demon. And look at that. Beautiful cover art for the uh, subscriber edition. I don't know though. I don't like this this dual covers because I like the Gargant one as well. <laughs> so, oh, it makes you want to buy both really. But yeah, who, who, who buys two White Dwarfs? I don't know. You've got to find out how the latest Warhammer 40K's FAQs affect your favorite faction. This was squirreled away in, in the website, um, but um, it explains all the updates here. Look, all snuggled away. Here's your view updates. They all were recently updated uh, three days ago on Tuesday. Uh, you've got the Imperial Ar Armour Compendium there. It's a good what, four pages or so. Um, the Macro Gatling Blaster was around in December last year with a uh, with an FAQ. I can tell you now, this is for the Warlord Titan by the way, I can tell you now it is strong as. It's a, it's a nice 100 inch it's same shots as a normal Gatling Blaster 12, but it is a strength 9. It's AP minus 4, damage 4, which means it's the same AP as the Sun Fury and as the Melter. I mean, it's uh, really, yeah, it stunned me to have it as AP minus 4. And um, yeah, it has uh, convinced me to get another one, of course. But uh I think that will only be for the Warlord. I think the Carapace weapons that are coming for it, um, they'll just be AP minus three like the Reavers. Um, so yeah, you can read this uh, this FAQ. Plenty of um, goodness to be had if you want to update your rules and things, um, you know, for all your codexes. Uh, when I do my reviews, I'll still be, you know, reading the rules from the codexes and things like I, like I usually do. Um, I mean, look, here's the errata for Chaos Knights. So that was the... Uh, FAQs. How Warhammer Age of Sigmar's new edition turns monsters and heroes up to 11. Meet the Space Marines who will be crushing Gene Steel occultists in Angels of Death. Uh, love video games. Check out every reveal from the Warhammer Skulls Festival. Right here. Total War Warhammer 3. You've got Warhammer Age of Sigmar Tempest Fall. Got uh, Vermintide 2. DLC, I think. Dark Tide, writer reveal. Obviously, it's uh, Dan Abnett. That looks absolutely amazing right there. And 40k Lost Crusade. And Stormground, which I think is out right now. Uh, Hired Gun, I played a little bit of that recently. Um, it's my gameplay footage is on the channel. That came out um, at the end of May uh, digitally. Blood Bowl 3, Warmer 40k Battle Sector, Age of Sigmar Soul Arena, Silver Quest, Warmer Quest Silver Tower, Blood and Teeth, Battle Sister, Underworlds Online, 40k Demon Hunters, Very, uh, I'm looking forward to that and I may even be able to uh, give you some early footage of that, I'm just putting that out there. Um, and then you've got some video game merch and Relics of War. Uh, so, oh, and then you've got Conquest, Chaos and Conquest. And uh, Daka Squadron. Mechanicus. Valhallen Ragnarok in World of Tanks. You can also get 40k, um, you've got some 40k tanks in there as well. And uh, World of Warships inspired by 40k. So yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, oh look, Adeptus to Titanicus Dominus as well. So yeah, there's a lot going on with video games over the next uh, couple of years, I think, uh, for Warhammer. Rule Land and Sky with today's Forge Worlds pre-order. So this was yesterday on Friday. All Forge World um, pre-orders are up on uh, the Fridays, but this is the uh, Volkite uh, weapon um, for uh, the Adeptus Titanicus. So you've got the... Um, so you've got the Volkite Eradicators, and then uh, the Warlord has the Volkite Destructors. And then the Aeronautica Imperialis. We'll have a look at these in a moment and look at the prices. You've got the Community Painting Competition winner for May. And then the Faithful Serenity Purge Rage or Just Plain Old Fire. Pick the Holy Order that's perfect for your Adeptor Sororitas. And how Age of Sigmar's Dominion box set draws 40 years of Warhammer history. 
Um, so there's a little bit of a interview there with Max uh, Felige. Felige. So that's it for kind of like the news um, and what's been happening over the past week. Um, a lot to take in. So let's hop on over to 412 and have a look at all of their pre-orders from yesterday. So here we are on the 412 uh, website. Um, very refreshing to see some new uh, pre-orders up. Uh, I like the way they've done this as well. Kind of highlighted it like a brush effect uh, around the, the new weapons. Um, they, they, they've messed this up though, big time. Because they put it around the uh, Gatling Blaster <laughs> instead of over here. <laughs> Oh dear, you, you'll get it right, you'll get it right, don't worry. Um, and then you've got, yeah, the Aeronautica. Um, new flyers, but they've only shown the Imperial stuff, no no Tau. And that's it. So, yeah, uh, there's the Tau right there. Um, I guess they could only show that because that's like a squadron or whatnot. But, um, yeah, if we click on new and uh, pre-orders, then we go save view all. You've got all of them on there anyway. So, yeah, there's the Aeronautica Imperialis Marauder Colossus Bombers. £35 for the pair. You're getting um, plastic set as well as a few Forge World upgrades. So, yeah, not only are you getting the, the full kit from GW there, you're getting the Forge World uh, resin, resin upgrades, which looks like a bomb bay different cockpit and a different front nose and different um, top uh, fuselage, fuselage uh, I think. And I re reckon it's a similar story for the Pathfinders as well. Yep, yeah, you're getting a different under fuselage there. Um, with like targeting for the missiles maybe. The Tau Remora drones, I think they'll be full resin yeah full resin uh pieces just replicants of each other so you're looking at like eight pounds each that's quite expensive for for those how small they are but i mean in in 40k scale they are they are big big uh big drones then you've got the volkite weapons not too bad prices for these um you know they fall in line with the others uh that have come out before. £11 for the Volkite Eradicator. Uh, I'm still not a big fan of these supports here. I think it would have looked better without them. Maybe they are... Yeah, look, they are extra parts. Look, one, two, three, four, five. That doesn't say. That sucks. I'd like to always have them tell you how many parts it is, but maybe we can get away with not gluing them on we'll see i like the targeting array um is a targeting array on the other side though probably not yes it is wow okay yeah at first i thought it was a bit short but um i think what i've been looking at is just the supports that make the weapon look a bit short so yeah i have picked that up and that will be coming in the next uh you know two weeks with the rest of them um and then you've got the volkite eradicator for the warhound which looks very very chunky very beefy um like the look of that not quite sure i'd have it with a flamer well unless you wanted to um melt a load of uh infantry but it is what it is and then you've got the uh, warlord titan one the volkite destructor which is the same price as the other warlord weapons it's fully resin and you get the uh full resin kind of shoulder mount as well which is really useful if you want to magnetize these um i just can't get along with uh this this reverse bit because it sort of drops to me that looks a bit odd um but there we go uh, that is uh temporarily out stock if you did want one of these but you're unfortunately too late um click the email me it's the only way forge world will will make more and uh, get them get them in stock again Okay, so that's everything from Fortran. Nice to see those. I do wonder whether um, we'll get the Imperial Fist next week. But I think that because they've given you a, a two-week um, kind of delay for dispatch for these, I think we'll have a break next week. And maybe the week after, we'll have the two Imperial Fist Pro Tours uh, up for pre-order or even something new. So that's everything that's going on with Forge World. Let's jump on over to Games Workshop and have a look at all of those Sisters of Battle um, pre-order. Okay, so here we are on the Games Workshop web store. It 
goes to the next screen and shows a little bit of a, uh, a cinematic for the new edition for Age of Sigmar 3.0. I'm guessing it might be up for pre-order next week on the uh, 12th or even the 19th um, because then it f will be released within June. Um, I'm thinking Oryx will be released in July or they might swap that. They might bring uh, Orcs forward and have them in, in June along with uh, Sisters. There's still a couple more releases for Sisters to come out, like the Tank and then the uh, Banabera and her grandma. But, um, you know, uh, let's um, look at those models when they're, they're announced. Um, so right here on the first page, you've got an advert for said uh, Adeptus Sororitas, the Sisters of Battle. Um, don't even bother looking at the dice. They sold out very, very quickly. And they are beautiful dice. Um You've got the Paragon War suit. You've got the Sacrosancts and the Collector's Edition Codex. You've got some more adverts for the other units, such as the Necromunda New Gang, uh, the Redemptionists uh, of House Cordor. Um, you've got a couple more adverts for the models that were up uh, for release last week. Well, for pre-order last week, you, you, you pick them up today. Um, Faith through Firepower. You've got a nice little uh, artwork. You've got a nice little framed artwork there. You've got... The Tainted Cohort Returns. That's interesting. And you've got Unleash the Crab. Yes, finally, you can get your claws onto these, uh, uh, this this crab. Um, you know, oh, fantastic, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, let's let's go up here and click on New and Exclusive. Click on Pre-Orders. We go View All and High to Low. The website was a little bit slow for me this morning, I have to say. Um, so let's look at the pre-orders. So for a measly, measly £238 here, um, almost the price of a Warhound Titan, um, you know, many years ago, you can pick up no less than 11 plastic miniatures. 11 miniatures for £238 with a codex, some dice and some cards and a limited edition art print. That is an absolute bargain. Uh, no, 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 it isn't. Um, but whether it's a bargain or not, I don't think people care because it's no longer available. You cannot pick this up. So I guess people absolutely love this kind of thing. Um, clicking it once to, you know, pre-order everything in one go. Uh, Kragnos, Lord Croak, the Butcher Herd, uh, the Talon of Slanesh, Sinessa, uh, the Dritches, uh, Spike Grove, and the... Luxian and Reska, along with the Rattachat's Doom Coven, were all up for pre-order last weekend. You can pick them up in the stores uh, today. Um, that's their release day. But for pre-order today, you've got the collector's edition of the Adeptus Sororitas, no longer available again. I guess people absolutely have gone head over heels over this um, uh, limited edition cover art. Uh, it doesn't say how many there are. They're not numbered like the... Age of Sigmar books and codexes, uh, they have less content than they had before. But here we are. Uh, I mean, it, it's all right. I would have preferred a helmed um, sister. I would have preferred these Paragon War suits not be in the picture at all. But that's all my per personal preference. It's art, isn't it, at the end of the day? There are some codexes that I really, really like, like the Bellacore and the new Lumineth one um, and the Soul Blight. But this one, it's not as bad as the Space Marine one. But it just doesn't work for me. Uh, that's all. Um, but yeah, it can be yours for £50. You've got the Kragnos book, which isn't uh, sold out. You can still pick that up. It's a uh, nice 140 pages or so. Um, I'm really surprised that that wasn't sold out, that one. But, uh, oh well. You've got the Paragon War suits. £42 for three sisters uh, in battle suits. Nundams, as I like to call them. Uh, so yeah, you are now looking at... Fourteen pounds per war suit. Uh, it looks like you get plenty of options with heavy bolters, uh, flamers, and melter and multi melters uh, with the war swords, with the um, spears. I think there's a spear somewhere in there. He says, "Well, there's a sword. There's a sword. There's a sword." Hold hold the phone. Maybe you don't get a spear at all. No, just swords and maces. That really did look like a spear there. But there we go, £42. and consists of 179 components. 
two different melee weapons, three different uh, range weapons, two different carapace weapons. You've got the different carapace weapons there as well. Um, yeah, it just looks odd still. I'm not a huge fan, um, but there you go. The Gazgul Thraka Prophet of War that was up for pre-order last weekend and that was sold out very and that was uh, sold out, but then it came into stock during the week, and then it was sold out again. Um, Morvan Val, the Abbess uh, Sanctorum uh, of the Adeptor Sororitas. So this is the High new High Lord of Terror. Um, I wonder whether we'll get any other High Lord of Terrors. Um, it doesn't say High Lord of Terror there, but um, we know that she is. One sprue. That's it, one sprue, £34.50. They've done it before um, with... Um, Horticular Slimux, I think he was about £30 or so uh, for the one sprue. But yeah, the only option you're going to get is just with a uh, helmet. Um, so a helmeted version there. No uh, weapon options or ranged options. She is a character after all. Um, the Warsong Revenant was up for last weekend. The Celestian Sacrosants, um, they look alright. Only three sprues though. So again, £10 or so per sprue. Um, but at least with these you get some options. So you've got a spear, you've got a halberd, um, you've got two more halberds, so that's three halberds, five halberds, um, as well as one, two, I think that's a mace, three, four, five, six. I think it's just uh, four uh, maces and then this is like a rod of office kind of thing um with the shields as well uh i think the sister superior has like a fancy shield which they don't really show off yeah i mean it's a shame guys because it's a really nice set and you've got options of of putting helmets on them and also using the halberds, and they only show them with the maces. It um, baffles me. With a dual kit like this, they should be showing off the, the halberds too, because not everybody likes the maces. Oh, look, this is like a Rod of Office type mace thing. Um, but look at those halberds, they look amazing. Um, yeah, but there we go. Uh, nice kits. Yes, it's pricey, um, but they are elite. I would like to pick up a second one of these at some point. Um, but um, yeah, that is uh, the Sacrosants. Uh, you've got the Necromunda House of Faith book, £32.50. Core door. No, um, sorry. Uh, th this book is quite pricey. I mean, I understand it's £32.50, but why, Games Workshop? Why? At least put your page numbers there somewhere. It's, um, yeah. That's a shame. It's an expansion as well. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and uh, for what you're getting for your £32.50, it's hidden away right here. 136 pages. Oh, I hope that that is not the new norm. I hope that £32.50 is not the new norm for codexes and books. This book should really only be £25, Games Workshop. Okay, moving back then. You've got uh, Galen and Duralia. They were up for pre-order last weekend. You've got the Codex Adepta Sororitas, £30. This is the new norm for Codexes, £30. 34 data sheets, quite nice. 128 pages, not too bad. Um, you know, they'll feel like a thick, proper uh, army now, especially as you've got the rules for the war suits and the tank and uh, High Lord of Terror. But let's face it, it was only a year and a half ago when the first... Um, Sisters of Battle um, Codex was released. Um, I hope that that is not a, a trend. I think because of 9th edition, they are uh, releasing all of these codexes quicker than they, they normally would. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that they stay around for um, quite a few years. Um, because to be buying, you know, a £30 book um, with less content than the previous book uh, every year and a half is just, yeah. I mean, it depends how many armies you've got. If you've only got sisters, then, you know, that's not too bad, but it's still, you know, still a lot. Um, but if you're releasing a new book every uh, every two years and you've got, um, I don't know, like four armies, uh, that is £240 every couple of years just on books. You know, Age of Sigma works, Age of Sigma sells. Um, I'm happy to buy these Broken Realm books because I know that if I click on Kragnos now, I can just look at the digital war scroll and use him. You know, and I wish 40k would make that transition too. 
You've got the Cordor um, Redemptionists, £26 here. That's about right for your six models in your gang. They look quite nice. Chapter of Proof was last week. Lord Felthius and the Tainted Cohort. This is an odd one because they've uh, re-released this. Um, you can have that as a, as a pre-order and it will ship next week. So if you're, you know, if you weren't able to pick these up, now's your chance. Kragnos was up uh, last weekend, but uh, this week, but today you've got the crab. The Dichasm Elephane's Soul Raid. I like the crab and the fish so much that I've even picked this up. So uh, we'll have a first look at this. Hopefully next weekend we'll have a look at the crab. Um, I do wonder what kind of colour plastic they've put it. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, nice light blue. I love it when they do this. Fantastic. Thank you, Games Workshop. It's brilliant. It's going to be odd having a, a blue crab, though. But there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody's gone nuts for the crab. Um, you've got the Sister Dogmata. Way too expensive um, for both of these. These should be £18. Um, they're going to be in the little clamshell packs. Uh, I can imagine, yeah, way too expensive. Um, you've got a, a different option for the rod, I think, which doesn't show it on the picture. Look, you've got two different versions. Um, at least they do show the helmeted version, but yeah, just a boring model. Um, just not my cup of tea at all. Palatine is all right, but let's face it, Amalia Novena has been the best Sisters of Battle. Um, model that they've uh, they've produced but again 21 pound should be 18 uh, Melisai Iron Scale was last weekend you've got the Necromunda House of Faith e-publication you've got the Adeptus Sororitas dice beautiful dice um, they've actually put some effort into these instead of just colouring them red and black or black and red or red and white and putting a different symbol on, on, on the six they've changed the symbols for all of the uh, numbers and um, they suit the sisters very, very nicely. I just hope that the, the black, um, which I think will be indented, uh, lasts, lasts a while. Um, but we'll see. You've got the Kragnos e-publication last week. You've got the cards for £15. Uh, the Omnibus was last week. But you've got the House of Faith dice, £10 there. For eight dice, that's over a pound per dice. I mean, to be fair to them, they are there is a like scatter dice, but they look like they're all the same size. Yep, there is only eight dice. So yeah, it makes the you know twenty pound for twenty dice for sisters uh, seem reasonable. You've got the tactics cards for nine pound fifty. Um, Pre-order book wise, you've got the brutal cunning paperback and the Blackstone Fortress Ascension in paperback. You can pick them up from Element um, for a fair bit cheaper. And uh, if you use my Element Games affiliate link, then you're going to be supporting this channel and all of the content that I produce uh, daily. What do you guys think of the pre-orders uh, this week? Um, I, I'm kind of glad that they've spaced out um, Sisters of Battle. Uh, it's odd because there's not that many new releases for Sisters of Battle uh, left. I think there's a new character. There's the banner and bearer and, and a grandma and the tank i'm not sure about any others and i'm confident they won't leave those releases for another week after that i think they'll they'll just release the rest uh, next weekend but we'll find out tomorrow from about six o'clock on the community uh, website that's it for my news and pre-order video today it, it was a huge one today huge I think that next weekend will be a bit quieter. What do you guys think of all of these pre-orders? Did you manage to pick up uh, any of the Sisters of Battle new releases? Or um, was your heart set on the Cordor Gang and even the Forge World Volkite weapons and Aeronautica? Um, or were you just after that crab for Diachasm? Please put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below as always. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.